In the previous web services video, I showed you how to use a web service to pull data into WordPerfect from a table, but that's just one option. Now I'd like to show you importing data, not directly into a table, but using the web service to put your information into a macro variable set. That allows me to take that information from an online service, put it into a variable that I define, let's call it Corel1, and it'll take that information and rather than insert it directly on the page, it will store it in memory associated to variable names. Now I can configure this web service into the parameters I want to use, in this case a zip code and a distance area, then choose the fields I want to retrieve data on. Now because this data is stored in my macro variable set, I can use any custom macro I've created to determine what to do with that data. I can create a macro to automatically plug it into an existing document, create custom forms, output it to another application or system, really whatever I want. So I have a custom macro called named table print and it's designed to basically take that data that I've already got and print it out in rows. When we open it you can see it's using the same macro variable name Corel1 that I had defined earlier. If I change the variable name I can simply click save and compile and run this new macro. I'm going to play this macro named table print and what you'll see is it running through and creating multiple pages for me using the data stored in that variable set. Normally this type of hookup to a partner application to get data can be fairly tough, but this is created for me in a matter of seconds. I could even take the same variable data and publish it to a movie database in my area using another custom macro. Again I can create macros to push information to other people, put it on my website, really anything through the power of WordPerfect. So the web services are very exciting for us as it adds a whole new avenue for our customers to work with their data and create custom solutions using WordPerfect's macro functionality.